What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get a sleek black version of the stock keyboard on your Galaxy S5. For this one to work, you'll need to be rooted, but I've got a guide on that linked out in the full tutorial that'll show you how to get super user status in under a minute. So head to the link in the description below and you'll get all the tools needed to get this one going. One other requirement is that you'll need to have a second keyboard installed before you start, because there's a few seconds there where the stock keyboard will actually be uninstalled for all intents and purposes. But most variants of the GS5 come with swipe pre-installed, so that shouldn't be a problem. With that out of the way, the first step is to download the themed keyboard APK file. This one was created by XDA user Chantho Unpin, so big thanks to him for all his hard work. Once you've got it downloaded, just open up your favorite feature-rich, root-enabled file browser. I say feature-rich because you'll need something that can change file permissions, but other than that, it's a simple cut and paste job. So first head to your download folder to locate that keyboard APK that you just downloaded. It's called Samsung IME, so long press it when you find it, then choose copy from the next menu. Now head to the root partition of your device. In layman's terms, that's the highest folder in the folder tree that you can get to with super user permission. From here, head into the system folder, then jump into the app folder inside of it. These are all your system apps, aka the ones that you can't uninstall unless you're rooting. And with most root file browsers, you'll have to mount this folder as read-write to make any changes to it. So do that now. But in here you'll find your existing stock keyboard going by the name of samsungime.apk. Long press that file and pick rename from the menu. Now just add a dot back to the end of the file name. This will cause Android to ignore the file, but if you ever want to switch back to the stock theme, you can simply remove this suffix and delete the themed version. Then there's one more file that needs the dot back treatment, and it's the very next file in this folder. So rename samsungime.odex to Samsung ime.odex.back, just like the APK file. Next, just paste the themed APK that you downloaded right into this folder. Now all files in this folder use the same set of permissions, so make sure the new file that you just pasted in here matches all the others. Long press it and select Permissions from the menu. Then make sure the Owner category is set to Read Write, and all the other categories are just set to Read. With that squared away, all that's left to do here is reboot the phone. So let me do that and I'll get right back with you. Okay, so now that you're back up, you'll probably need to switch your default keyboard back to the Samsung one, since Swipe took over there for a minute. Just tap any text input field and you should see an input method editor notification. Tap that, then choose Samsung Keyboard from this next menu. Now you can see the new theme in effect. It works just like the stock keyboard, but it's got this sleek gray on black look. Pretty nice, right? But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!